Well, I see so many of my friends out there shooting their shows from home. I think to myself, why not give it a try? And if you can hear my kids in the background, it's because I am at home. and We are stuck in here like everybody else. Uh, if Jimmy's got his mini log and he's shooting his show from home, I thought, well, why couldn't I do a little animal segment at home for you guys? Now, Jimmy won't be here making us laugh, but I will try to get my favorite animal info in. And please send your comments and uh, create some discussion. So many of you are more experts than I am and clearly better with their language. I don't have animals at home, but what I do have are stuffed animals. Now, I'll try to highlight some animals that I can't bring on shows uh, because then I can get some information out that you may not have already heard. Now, this, I think you can see, is a hammerhead shark. My favorite things about hammerhead sharks is their head. Why do they have a head like that? Well, scientists have argued forever about why the hammerhead's head is this shape. Um, they think that the eyes are positioned like this to have better binocular vision, and it has been thought in the past that it was worse, but that's not so true, I don't think anymore. Uh, another thing is the way a lot of these guys, like, they can turn very fast. These guys are designed to turn faster than other sharks and big fish, and that's what they like to eat. So another design is that they can track their food as they turn. Interesting, fun, hammerhead shark, super cool. Now, another shark that we all know and love, me, 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 great white shark. Now, people don't like calling them great white sharks. Uh, people like to call them white sharks. Scientists are particular, so call them a white shark. I think that's the polite term these days. One thing that I always like to argue about, people often talk about things, oh, you look like a seal, so you're gonna get eaten because these guys are dumb. This is one of the smartest sharks, in fact, thought to be the smartest shark in the world because, and they think that because of one, their behavior, but two, uh, they have a lot more blood flow to their brain than other sharks. And because of that, and because of what I know about predators, predators don't live this long being dumb. They don't mistake things for their food source. So what do I think happens? Well, oftentimes I think the investigation bite is pretty typical, meaning they'll come up, take a bite and go, hmm, that's not what I was looking for. Spit it out, doesn't taste like food. Other things that happen, oftentimes these guys are hunting during uh, sunset. So this gets a little bit worse. They're hunting in the surf. Visibility is also worse again. And they'll bite anything moving. So you surfers that are out there in the crashing waves at sunset, I know it's beautiful, but that's this guy's time, not yours. Probably, uh, Great whites aren't big sharers. Now, interestingly, something that might hunt this, and you might think, well, it's an apex predator, nothing hunts it. Enter the orca. Yeah, I know it's pink. I think it's an orca. Uh, it looks like an orca to me. Uh, dirty, sorry, it's been outside. It's a bath toy. Uh, orcas are typically black and white, not pink. I hope you know that. Uh, orcas in some places have been known to actually hunt out sharks. And in fact, if you know Discovery Shark Week, you know about Shark Alley. Uh, these guys have chased all the sharks out of Shark Alley. Now, and interestingly enough, they hunt them, kill them, and they don't often eat the entire thing. Some people say they've only eaten the liver. Some people, they just leave them for dead. But interestingly, uh, if you ever wondered who was the king of the ocean, it's the orca. And once again, uh, the reason we think the orca is so successful is it's so smart. It's a pack animal, uh, or pod, I guess. Uh, and in those family groups, they can literally figure out how to get food anywhere and anywhere. Oh, that's making noises. So, last animal, the humpback whale. Now, some of my favorite things, you might have to go on YouTube because I'm not going to have an editor edit this. Uh, look up bubble netting. They will blow bubbles, swim in a circle, catch their prey in a big bubble net, and then the whole pod comes up with their mouth open, and they scoop up their fish and they have little filters that spit out all the water and they keep all the fish inside. Another fun fact about these guys is if you're ever in the water with one, uh, them blowing bubbles at each other is a sign of aggression. So oftentimes scuba divers, if they have a respirator in the mouth and they blow a bubble out, this guy thinks it is uh, a threat. Now interestingly, a lot of times uh, divers have said what they see is this, it looks like the humpback is swimming away, but what actually is happening is whoosh, the tail is coming by to say, please go away. So, um, kind of leave these guys alone because they're big. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your questions, leave your comments. Uh, all of you guys that are experts and know more than I do, please feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. I have been called worse. Um, if you like this, we'll do some more next time. Have fun, stay safe, stay inside.